Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here this morning. I'm coming to you from my car this evening. I just got done with the gym and I know this is a little bit different than I normally do on here. As you can see, I have absolutely no makeup on. You can see my blemish, but it's okay because we're going to be friends, guys. So you got to see me like this too, right? But I wanted to come on here because I did promise you guys to talk about my fitness as well. You guys know that I am a fitness coach and I do train with clients and I teach Zumba and CrossFit and all that good stuff, right? So I wanted to talk to you guys about cardio today. I've been getting so many questions about cardio. Okay, like... People have been asking me, like, do I do it before the strength training? Do I do it after? How long do I do it for? Do I do the treadmill, the elliptical? Which one's better? You know, like, there's so many questions with cardio. And I know because growing up and before I became a trainer and all that stuff, I didn't know either. I was following, you know, those myths and those trends thinking that that was going to get me results and I was going to lose my body fat and etc. right? Thank God, since September, I have lost 10 pounds and a lot of body fat. My body right now is absolutely perfect for my height and my like mass of bone and all of that. I'm exactly perfect where I need to be as far as body fat, things like that. Of course, I still am working out hard to maintain and I still want to get a little more toned up on the abs. But hey, we all have to have goals, right? But going forward, the cardio. Okay, guys, so doing an hour on a treadmill or elliptical is not going to do anything for you at the same pace, right? After your hour, how do you feel? Not that good. You're like barely sweating. You don't feel like you really accomplished anything. You know, your cardio should be at the end of your workout because it should be high intensity interval training. Okay, literally, you should empty that gas tank on that cardio machine. Whatever you have left in your body, that's what you want to release right there. That is what's going to burn that fat and instead of building muscle under fat and actually looking bigger you're going to actually burn the fat and replace it with muscle and get that lean gorgeous body that we all want right so you know there's a few workouts that actually i do with my clients that i'll share with you guys today but like i said it's actually better to do a shorter interval of time on these cardio machines at a higher more intense pace. What you want is your heart rate to go up, down, up, down. Because doing that makes your body have to pump harder. And that's what's burning your fat. Okay. So like, here's one example of a high intensity interval workout, right on a treadmill. Okay. So I'll take my clients. We're on there. First two minutes is warming up, getting that body ready to go. You're at a 1.0 incline. That is a street level. Then after that two minutes, you're going to go up to 3% on that incline and you're going to increase your speed and you're going to go for two minutes at a push pace. This should be semi uncomfortable. You really should not be able to hold a conversation. You should feel a little bit like, Ooh, this is uh, really working me out here. You know, you should start to feel that sweat coming down your face. Then after that two minutes, you're now at four minutes, you're going to have a one minute decrease where you're going to go back to that base pace. You're going to stay at that 3% incline, but you're going to lower that speed. Then from there, after that minute, you're going to go up to a 6% incline for another two minutes. Okay. You're going to hit that baby heavy. All right. I know you can do this. After that, again, you're going to come down for that one minute recovery. And then last but not least, you're going to go up to that 10% incline. Okay. And you're going to go for that last two minutes as hard as you can. And you're going to do that three times. Okay. All the way up to 10%. Take a recovery, relax a few minutes, and then you're going to get back on the treadmill and you're going to do it again. And then for the third time, and you're going to see how 
good you feel while you're doing it you're gonna be like holy shit i don't think i could make it this is killing me i'm done but that's the beauty of having a trainer there to tell you you can do this because guys it is mind over matter okay your body gives up way, like way before your your mind gives up way before your body does okay seriously you gotta get past that push okay your mind is built to tell you when you're fatigued and to kind of like deter you from doing things that would like harm you or push you over the edge right but they don't know that you're exercising the brain doesn't know that right so you have to tell yourself okay I can do this I'm stronger I'm better I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna feel great when I'm done then after your workout once you're sweating and you feel amazing, you're going to go home because you're burning calories for the next hour after a workout, especially if you worked out with me because girl, okay? But that's when you're going to eat hella protein, okay? Because we need to replenish everything you just burned in order to actually be able to build that muscle, right? We need something to build. The body needs a certain amount of carbs, proteins, and fats to sustain like normal function, right? So you got to look at these percents in what's going to sustain you and then also help you to lose that fat and etc. Now, I'm not saying don't do that strength training, okay? The strength training is very important as well. And it does get your heart rate up at times depending what you're doing, but on these cardio machines, it's very important. It is better to do a shorter period of time at a higher intensity, okay? You're gonna see the difference in your body so much, okay? And then you can thank me later. But if you have any questions about this or about fitness, cardio, any of that stuff, please let me know, leave a comment. Definitely will help you out, no worries. But I just want to tell you guys, you know, it wasn't always easy for me either. Like there was times I just felt so like disappointed and tired and I didn't feel like doing it. But, you know, like winners are people who they do it anyway. Okay. And I know that you guys can succeed and you guys can accomplish this journey. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little pep talk. And I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know a little tip for working out. And I hope to see you on my next video. We're going to be doing some cool stuff with makeup tomorrow. So I will be posting that up. And I love you very much. Thank you for your support. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.